Hello and welcome to Tune Tip Tuesday. This week we're going to be talking about high and low speed compression damping. So high and low speed compression damping adjustments. Uh, first of all, low and high speed doesn't refer to how fast you're traveling. Um, it refers to how fast your suspension has to compress to absorb um, a given bump. So first up, low speed compression damping. This will affect the, your movements like your pedaling bob, uh, weight transfer, um, brake dive, that sort of thing. So if you increase that compression damping to the firmer side, um, it will give you more support, um, be less wallowy, less divey, that kind of thing. Uh, the downside is it does uh, reduce sensitivity when you, when, when you get towards the firmer uh, side of your setting. So uh, that can lead to a little bit of a loss of grip, um, but it does make the bike more efficient. So you've got to kind of find a little balance there. Um, your high speed compression damping adjustment that will affect uh, things like uh, square edge hits, uh, braking bumps, harsh landings, that kind of thing. Uh, so the, the more damping you have, the, the firmer the feel, um, the more support you get in those situations. Um, obviously if you have too much um, it will start to feel harsh um, and won't absorb that impact. Um, so our quick tip is to increase both until you feel it harsh in, in those situations mentioned um, and then just back it off um, until you find your, your sweet spot. So thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.